This is go. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go on Shaw TV Channel 4. We are here in Campbell River today. We are starting here at the Campbell River Curling Rink. They have some, they have a great bond spiel coming up next week. And curling, even though it seems to be a sport that's hit its limit, they are obviously always looking for new members. And what's going to be on the ice shortly is the 50 and over league, which is a happening thing. So if you're over 50 looking for something to do, this is the place to do it. Later in the show, we're also going to be talking with Andy from the Campbell River Storm about his new show that is airing on Shaw TV's Channel 4. So all of this is coming up in today's show, but we are going to begin right here in Campbell River with a story, a spotlight from Marjorie Greaves, Gardens in Bloom. Welcome back, you're watching Go on Shaw TV Channel 4. Joining me now, Mr. Don Pennell, here at the Campbell River Curling Rink. He is one of the members of the Campbell River Curling Club. How many years have you been a member? Um, I would say about 27 years here at the club. Wow. Why? I uh, <laughs> grew up in St. John, New Brunswick, and started at the age of 13, and I got a little head start on the junior curling, and uh, had some good fortune in New Brunswick, and curled there for another 30 years before moving to BC. Oh, and what is it about curling that keeps you so <laughs> interested? I've, it, it's a, I think I have a target gene. I, I golf, I curl, I like bowling, I like pool. So oh. I think it's something to do with throwing the rocks to a target at the other end. Okay. And that seems to be the draw. Lots of curlers also golf. Really? Yes. I didn't know, I wouldn't have made that connection because yeah, a lot of yeah. hockey players golf. And it's a social ability. The com okay. I'm competitive by nature as well, so I still enjoy the competitive side of it. But there's lots of social curling as well. Yeah. Now, the club here is uh, almost 400 members. That's a pretty strong club. And there's a lot of BC championships that are going to be happening here on the island uh, coming up. And for, for you, do you like watching curling on TV? <laughs> I do. I'm all okay. over anything on TV, Grand Slam wise, and uh, yeah, I, I love hearing the commentators. They're so good these days. Russ Howard, Cheryl Bernard, Vic Rauder are in the TSN panel, and yeah. the Sportsnet Shaw crew would be great as well. Yeah. Hearing all the commentary about the strategy and things, I enjoy. There's, there's strategy in curling? Big time strategy. <laughs> there's a lot of strategy, depending on the score, what end it is in the game, who's okay. throwing the rock in a given end. There's right. lots to do with strategy. Okay. Now, I understand that there's um, also a new way to um, throw the rock with mm -hmm. a stick mm -hmm. if you, if you mm -hmm. don't have the ability to get down anymore. That's right. Stick curling is in the game nowadays. And what it is, you have a stick and you put it on the handle of the rock and you can then walk out to the hog line yeah. and you can apply your turn, in turn or out turn with the oh. stick curling. Okay. So you walk and then you you still stay involved with the brushing side of the game. Okay. So, and there's obvious health benefits for curling. There are. Um, Fitness okay. is, yeah, you get lots of exercise with the brushing side in particular. Not so much the throwing of the rock, but the going up and down with the rock, whether you're brushing or not, and if you have to brush because it might be light or to get by a guard. Uh, okay. There's lots of exercise that can be had. All right. And are you looking for new members? Yes. We have lots of openings uh, for new members. We have... Our leagues are not full by any means. We have six teams on some, in some leagues. We have, I help out with the clinic at the beginning of the year. Sometimes we offer an intermediate clinic halfway through the year. Okay. But we can always use new members. And Susan Johnson is our manager and she's here Monday to Friday, daytime. Okay. And she'll set you up with a lesson, with myself possibly. Is it easy to learn? Uh, it is on ice. It's a little tricky. Balance can be an issue. But we are very safety conscious. We put grippers on. You may or may not have a slider on when you deliver okay. your rock. Okay. So we'll take all those into consideration. All right. OK. And if people wanted to, um, do you know the phone number off by I heart? I do. OK. And if they want to call and get sure. information. 250-287-4200. Yep. Yep. All right. Perfect. And Susan will pick up. And if not, you can leave a message. And okay. she'll get back to you. 
Awesome. Well, thank you we so much. We also have a website. Okay. Which is www.crcurl.ca. Okay. And, and that has all our current events on it. And that's up on the screen there. You can see it. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. That's the okay. website. And it's, it's kept up to date. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. Happy curling. Thank you. Uh, right now, Council Currents right here in Campbell River. Welcome back to GO. Joining me now, Susan Johnson here at the Campbell River Curling Club. Susan, you have a bond spiel coming up. So we let's do. Talk we about have that. the Ralph Boyd Men's Open coming up the first weekend of February. Okay. This is our longest spiel that we've had going in the club. It started in 1964. Awesome. Ralph started the spiel, and it is an amazing event. We get up to 32 teams. Men come from all over the island, Port Hardy to Victoria. Actually, some even from the mainland. Okay. Las Vegas. We've had them actually come from a lot, a lot of places, but mostly here, Mid Island. It's yeah. a fabulous event. We have big, big sponsors like Thrifty Foods and Lordco that uh, enable us to put on a really big show. Okay, that's awesome. Now, there seems to be a lot of um, excitement about all of the curling that's happening on the island because you've got the world, the Canadian juniors coming up down in uh, in Victoria at Archie Browning. You've got the Women's BC Championship happening in Duncan, which yep. Shaw is carrying. Yeah. The weekend of the 20th, so you'll see it's that. It's fabulous. Coverage in general for curling has just skyrocketed in the last five years. Okay. It's on TV everywhere you look. People that don't even curl, they say, oh, we're watching the Scotties. Oh, we're watching the Skins. Okay. They don't know how to play. They've never thrown a rock. <laughs> they don't know how to score. But if it's on TV, there now, there's so much interest involved. It's fantastic. And to all those people that sit and watch it on TV and here on the island, yeah. come down to our club, try it. It's just such a fantastic sport. Why do you think people are so interested to watch it like that? You know what? It's such a good question. I grew up watching it. I never curled oh, okay. um, up until 10 years ago, but we watched it. it, it it's, there's a lot of theory in curling and there's a lot of competition, but there's a lot of camaraderie with a small team of four. It's not a sports team where there's this whole team and you have to know 20 players. It's four people. It's very, you know, it's tight. It's a tight group. Okay. And so people get really invested in these teams that they're watching. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, what would you say to anybody in the audience that's maybe considering trying curling or had never thought of it and seeing you now and they're going oh well maybe what would you say to them absolutely the thing about curling is unlike bowling you can't just kind of stop in and throw a stone at, at, in curling there's a lot of safety we give you a slippery shoe you're on ice there's a lot to be involved so the people that are interested we kind of have to set you up with a lesson but it's totally doable. Bring yourself, bring a group of people. We'll get somebody, an ambassador to our sport, a coach, to give you the basics and let you give a you know a few tries. It's not going to happen the first time. It's not going to come naturally. It's a sport as you see people deliver. You know, they have to be a little bit agile. Just try it. You just will be surprised. It's for everybody, all athletic abilities, all ages. Come on down. We'll get okay. you out there. All right. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. So check out the website that you see on the screen. If you would like further information or the phone call, Susan's on the other end of that phone, and she'll spend some time chatting with you about what you have to do to learn how to curl. And right now, we're going to head down to the Comox Valley for this artist profile on Peter Mulder. Welcome back. You're watching Go on Shaw TV Channel 4. We have left the Campbell River Curling Rink and we have arrived here at Shaw TV Studios. We are here in the edit suite with Mr. Annie Seppinen and he is with the Campbell River Storm and the reason he's in the edit bay here at Shaw TV, he has his own show now. Do you know that? Tell us about your show, Andy. Uh, Into the Storm, it's basically an inside look to uh, the Junior B hockey team here in Campbell River. Um, Originally, it's something I kind of wanted to do last year and just kind of didn't get around to it. So this year, it was something I approached uh, Marjorie about here at Shaw because she came and did a story on Australian training camp. Mm -hmm. She thought it was a great idea, so we kind of shot some emails back and forth. One thing led to another, and yeah, we've uh, I finished the second episode recently. It was kind of the Christmas special, and now going into the new year, we're going to probably get a few more episodes done into the playoffs and 
kind of follow the team and it's, okay. it's a great opportunity to give the fans the behind the scenes like show totally. what kind of goes on in the dressing room and the, yeah. the game day routines you know at practice things like that it's yeah. it's been a lot of positive feedback you know and I find it amazing how many people are saying I didn't know you guys do that and you know they've seen things on the show that they <laughs> didn't even know about the team and yeah so yeah it's it's kind of cool and if, if awesome. we can add some more interest and more fans in the game day at the same time then even yeah. better oh that's awesome mm -hmm. now how many years did you play hockey yourself well I've played my whole life. I started okay. when I was four and played okay. played up to 20 and then uh, basically started coaching right after I was done playing. So right. for the last 10 years I've been been coaching now and media, so media has always been a passion of mine as well so it's okay. kind of it's nice to combine the two. It is. Now uh -huh. you're the goalie coach for the Storm. That's yeah. correct. Okay. Yeah. Great. Help out with some social media stuff, goalie coach and obviously this kind of stuff. So and now it's all my passions coach. all kind of intertwined into one. Awesome. <laughs> Now, where do you hope um, to take the show over the next year? Do you really want to, do you think there's enough material to keep it going? I think so. I mean, yeah. if I'm not around maybe in a couple of years, maybe it's something that can continue on with somebody else who's an up-and-coming, aspiring videographer, you know, somebody okay. in town and kind of run with it. And it could become, could become something for sure to kind of move on with the next team next year and the, so on and so on. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing the next episode. That thank you. sounds great. <laughs> um, and I just want to mention that on March the 8th is International Women's Day, and last year in Powell River, Mike Brown and John McKenzie hit the streets to find out what women were thinking, and a few men, I think, around International Women's Day and if we've actually made any progress. Have a look. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for Go for this week. And we are here at the Shaw TV studios where Andy Sepperman is editing his show Into the Storm that can be seen on Channel 4. Earlier in the show, we were at the Campbell River Curling Rink and we talked with Don Penno as well as uh, Susan Johnson about the Campbell River Curling Rink group and all of the different leagues that they have available. Um, at the Campbell River Curling Rink, they have a fabulous little cafe so you can go in there and be fed very, very well as well as watch some really fantastic curling on the four sheets of ice. And they're always looking for new members. So if you think you might want to explore being a curler, call the number you see on the screen or check out their uh, website. There's a couple of big competitions coming up. So you want to go out and have a look and just watch curling in person. You could do that as well. And at the Campbell River Museum, this is a favorite, favorite event, as well as a major fundraiser for the Campbell River Museum. The trains are back on January 28th and 29th. You can take your family and go and see all of the different trains that are set up. They're going to be there from 10 to 5 on the 28th and from 10 to 4 on the 29th. You do not want to miss that. It's going to be so much fun. And it's so cool to see all the little trains and all the little landscapes they've got built. It's really, really interesting. So there are just two more Go shows after this, and then we're going to be evolving into something totally different, a couple of different new shows. So we're going to tell you more about that next week, and the following week is going to be a breakdown of everything that's changing here at Shaw. So if you would like to do a show just like Andy, of your own choosing, give us a call, and we would love to talk to you. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon.